Hey guys, it's Jake's Tutorials, and this is going to be my first tutorial made in 2010, so I hope it's good. Now, if you are going to be asking about the WordPress tutorial that was posted yesterday, it was made in 2009, so I just forgot to post it. I don't know why, but I did. So, anyways, today I'm going to show you how to make a simple web browser like this. You can make it as big as you want. Just I wanted to make it pretty small so I can make it quicker. And this was requested by a user that I will post in the description. He requested he slash she I'm not actual I'm not actually sure. But um they requested a tutorial on how to make something in C plus plus. Now I think they asked for a program, but I really wanted to learn how to make a browser, so I'm making this right now. And I will make a tutorial on how to make a program a little bit later. But this is going to be very simple, as you can see. You can change the colors if you know how to do that. I know how to do that, but that might be a more advanced tutorial. This is just a simple one. So what you're going to want to do is, I'm just going to exit out of this, and it's actually very simple. All you need is this code, which will be in the description. And so I'm going to open up this. And I'm going to go to File, New, Project, which will bring up this. You want to click on Windows Forms Application. And if it looks any different, just find that Windows Forms Application and then name it. Um, web and browser and then what you want to do is just drag that um, depending on how big your computer screen is um, just drag it or actually depending on how big you want it just drag it to that I'm not going to want it that big because I'm not going to save this so you can just make it a little bigger. I think that's pretty good. And then what you want to do is find the toolbox. Now in 2008, I don't think the toolbox is over here, over here. Or actually it's right here, but um, you can just push the toolbox so that it opens. What you're going to do is go down to web browser. Now drag it. And you're not going to see anything but white. It's going to look similar to this. Or exactly like that. Just push this arrow and undock it. So it, there's this. Now move it up. Give it some. Give some space for the buttons and all the other stuff. And then just drag that, and you are done with this part. Now go back into toolbox. Drag a button right here and you can move anywhere but don't move it in the white spot so that's a big thing I've tried that and it looks really weird and also don't move this white spot above the button so that's another thing it messes it up really bad so um, just arrange those to the same to look at, to make it look the same is what I'm trying to say. And then you're going to drag a text box. This will be where you type in the URL and make that pretty big. And I guess you can make that a little bigger. And this is going to be the go. So drag a button right there. And you can make it a little smaller so it's not going to be it's just going to be a go button. And I think that looks pretty simple. Now what you're going to do is this is where you're going to type in the code, this code. So you are going to double click on button 1. And yeah, so just double click and push enter. And this is where you're going to type in this code. So I'll move that up. and. This is also going to be in the description. So, hi. Oh, actually, and again, 
um, if you once you double click on button one, you want to just push enter. So it looks like this. Or if you go right here, just push enter, and that's what it's going to look like. If you didn't know. In, anyways, so you're going to push enter and type in this dash greater sign web browser one and dash greater sign go back open close parentheses colon and you're done with this part and then you're going to go to button two that's going to be your the forward button or the back but this, for this one I'm going to use forward and I'm going to push enter type in this dash greater sign web browser one dash greater sign go forward and open close parentheses again and colon and you can change the, all this it doesn't have to be the same you can change the name to so if you right click go to properties and with the text you can change it to back and then if you right click on button two and you type in forward enter and then if you click on the button three and you made it go so you can do all that but it really doesn't matter so this is now we're going to be doing the go so you want to go back and design and double click on go and here you can I'm not sure if you can copy and paste this, it might be a little weird. But just type in this dash greater sign web browser one dash greater sign navigate open parentheses this dash greater sign text box one dash greater sign text, and then close parentheses, and a colon. So now if you just supersize that and give this a little room so you can see the compiling, and now if you want to change the web browser title, find a blank area in this top, go to properties, and where it says form one, you can type in a name, Jake's web browser and if you push enter it'll change you can exit out of that now if you push the start debugging the green arrow it will come up with this just push yes and build started and it'll compile it all and everything and if it works something like this will come up and you can go to google.com, push go, and google.com will open up, and you can make that a little bigger, depending on how big you made it. But it's pretty nice. So, and it does work with YouTube and all the other sites. So you push go. Now, um, this is basically Internet Explorer inside of your own web browser. And I deleted some of my videos, or more than some, I guess. Um, that's because a lot, or not a lot, but some of my videos didn't have voice, and I don't want my videos to have that. I like videos with voice instructional. That's what I want my tutorials to be. So I'm going to redo those tutorials, and I got rid of any videos with copyrighted sound music, which back then I didn't know wasn't allowed. So I got rid of those, and I also got rid of any of those um, recordings games. I might put those back in, depending on whether or not... Um, but, well, actually, I'll have to find some royalty-free royalty music. But, mainly on this tutorial, I hope this helped you. And if it did, please comment, subscribe, 
and request more tutorials for 2010.